just relaxing over here because the truck is finally on the road, my guys and girls, and I am pumped. I am so pumped. I've been just ripping her around, you know, having a good time. But there's definitely some things that need to be addressed, like this tailgate, the trim needs to be put on it, and some other stuff. And remember, if we hit 50,000 subscribers by the time the truck is done, which will probably be like in a few days, we'll give this bad boy away. But hey, if that doesn't happen, we'll just sell it and build another one. The first thing I wanna say is I had a subscriber call me yesterday and I've been kind of having a down week. I have some equipment that I wanna sell and it's not selling. And you know, I've been in this position like 500 times where money is, you know, interesting if you wanna put it like that. And anyways, he called me up and he had some questions about a different Cummins swap that he was gonna buy that I built two years ago. And we ended up talking for a while, just a bunch of crazy stuff. But let me tell you this, if you don't believe in God, listen to this little story. He was telling me this stuff about God and his business and how God helps him out and this and that. And I was saying, you know what? You should come out to Didsbury sometime. And he's like, well, I'm out in Manitoba. So he's like 13 hours away. And I'm like, oh shoot. Well, that's pretty far. And then he said, actually, I was just in Didsbury like in the last month here. And he said, I was at this shop and they were selling this Chinese, uh, this little backhoes and excavators, little equipment or whatever. And I was like, hold on a sec, that is my shop, that is where I rent, and the renters beside me, that's what they sell. So it turns out this guy who called me, because God kind of put it on his heart to call me, was actually at my shop like the week before, and I probably saw him, but I didn't even recognize him. So obviously God was trying to work something out. God will do stuff like that. Little, He'll do stuff in your life just to make you recognize that he's there and he's with you. So if you don't believe in Jesus, you need to. You cannot earn your way to heaven. You can only believe that Jesus paid the price for you and accept the free gift. That is why all religions are the same, just like everyone says, all religions are the same. And they're right, because they are. Because it's all about earning your way to heaven. When Jesus said, it is not about earning your way to heaven. Anyways, let's get into this video and I'll show you around. As you can see, he's sitting real low. Bumper's like seven, eight inches off from the grass. We don't have the trim on the back yet, but I do want to get it on there really soon. I have it in the shop, I just haven't got around to it yet. We've gone through two sets of brand new tires within seven days here. The first ones were not the right tires. They were way too lightweight and just squatted out real bad. So I bought these 10 ply LTs. They're not quite as sporty looking, but whatever. I have chrome center caps coming for these wheels, which will really, you know, spice them up. The interior here turned out amazing. Um, everything looks really good. Brand new carpet. I cleaned up the shifter boot. I made a custom shifter knob there. The dash cleaned up really nice. Everything just turned out so good. I'm super pumped about that. And the radio works and all that. I'm really pumped about the interior. If you can't, you know, already tell. The hood has some hail damage, but you know what, whatever. Now, the part that you're all interested in the diesel Cummings engine. You can always get a good deal on, you know, the old internet if the ad says Cummings. If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, the wiring turned out really good. I spent about three days on it, just making sure everything was nice and clean. Deleted everything up there, got rid of that ugly plastic thing that always holds so many wires that guys just don't know where to put. I got this nice elbow here with this, you know, go fast air filter. Uh, I got this off Amazon. I got that boot off Amazon and then this from the parts store here in town. And I think all that was around $65, maybe a little bit more than that, but whatever. I made this, you know, custom coolant tank out of a water bottle. I think it looks kind of cool with those bands and all that, but use the Big block radiator and it turned out really nice. I painted it and used all the factory bracketry. Used the rat hose and I did use those really annoying clamps, but I think they look kind of cool, so that's why I used them. Boost elbow looks great. My good buddy Monty made one of those and if you want one, leave a comment and we'll try and get you hooked up. They work absolutely phenomenal. Phenomenal. Got the brake lines all bent up. Still trying to figure out the brake booster. It's not boosting. So it's all manual brakes, which is kind of tiring on the old leg, but that's okay. I put the ground safety switch in there just to make sure everything is easy to work on so that I can just unplug the battery. 
because as you can see this thing does not have a battery underneath the hood and yeah that took me like two days to do the, just that because I built a, a bracket to hold the battery and all that and I wanted it to look really fancy and I think I was way too zoomed in in that last clip but let's see if we can see the battery on the frame here so as you can see here I built this bra I built this bracket here to hold this group 31 battery and if you're doing a swap I'd highly recommend using a group 31 simply because they have a lot of cold cranking amps and they have a lot of power just a good battery and also they're top threaded post so they look nice when you use uh, lugs and stuff and hold the to, to hold the stuff down I'll fire it up for you guys real quick and again that color just turned out so nice but we'll fire it up so that you guys can hear it So the engine runs amazing. There's no ticking or anything and it, it doesn't smoke at all. Here's the thing, I used to be in the smoking days where I just love blowing black smoke. Those days are past. I like it to look clean and not blowing smoke literally everywhere. The cab noise is actually really good. The only problem is this thing's geared extremely low. So it's, it's quite loud just because of the high RPMs but I'm going to re-gear it and then that'll fix that problem and it'll cruise a lot better down the highway, no doubt about that. The turbo is not too loud, it's, it's the perfect amount. You can hear it when you're really boosting fourth gear, but other than that, it don't really hear it too much, which is fine with me. I don't really like it when the turbo is super loud. That's pretty much the truck up to this point and uh, we've got some rust down there, but I, I like that fender rust. I've always thought it looks kind of cool. The cab though, I do like them to look nice, so I fixed the cab rust and all that, so I'm happy about that. That's pretty much the truck. Hope you guys enjoy the video, and now here's a cool little clip for you. <laughs> 